Hi there, Todd with Trouble Painting. Welcome back to the Wall of Color. Thanks for joining us today. In today's video, we're gonna be using a Benjamin Moore color called Proposal. Proposal is a pink color, as you can see. It's AF260 on their color chart. Reds and yellows are the poorest covering colors, and pink falls into that category in the red category. So let's see what Proposal looks like on the wall and how it covers with the Benjamin Moore Regal eggshell paint. So there we have our first coat of Benjamin Moore Proposal, a nice light pink color. Whenever you're using pinks or reds, a gray primer is the best color primer uh, to use prior to painting with the pink or the red paint. It'll cut down on the number of coats because the pink tends or red tends to cover the grays very well. We were fortunate that the color we had up on the wall before was a gray color. So you can see with one coat of Proposal, we have really good coverage. We're gonna put a second coat on because it does need a second coat, but we we're fortunate to have the correct color up already. If you were using a yellow, which is another color that doesn't cover very well, a white primer would be the best color primer to allow that yellow to cover well and cut down on the number of coats. Let's see what the second coat of Proposal looks like. Okay, there you have it, second coat of Benjamin Moore Proposal. What do you think? A light pink color, I put the white baseboard up so you get an idea of that contrast. Um, pinks and reds, yellows, I talked about how they are tough to cover, they don't cover well. We're really fortunate to have that gray color ahead uh, of this one. So it covered well with two coats, but traditionally, if you're not gonna put a primer up, you're probably gonna need more than two coats to cover sufficiently if you're using a, a red or a pink. If you are using red or pink, gray primer is the right color. If you're using yellow, white primer is the correct primer color. That'll help you cut down on the number of coats. Also, I always recommend if you're putting up bold colors, try a sample ahead, put a swatch on, look at it in different light. Make sure it's the right color. Make sure what you had in your mind is what it looks like on the wall. I've had too many times in my career where people have come home with a pink color and said, wow, that looks like Pepto-Bismol and that wasn't what they were going for. So thanks again for watching our wall of color video. Hope you found it helpful. If you'll hit subscribe and like, that'll help other people interested in color find our videos. Thanks again.